Our top 10 plays of 2020 begin in New Middletown. Back in week three in our game of the week, Springfield going into their bag of tricks against McDonald with the old-fashioned hook and ladder. Bo Brungard fires to Jacob Joyce, who pitches back to Lucas Yema, and he is gone. What a play call and a backbreaker for the Blue Devils right before halftime as Springfield goes on to win the game 49-13. At number nine, we stay in week three for a spectacular play from the United Golden Eagles. The dynamic duo of quarterback Brutus Ogilvy and Keaton Baker do it again here. A great pass and catch and watch what Baker does after the grab. 94-yard touchdown as the Golden Eagles go on to beat Wellsville. Number eight takes us to Blue Jay country, and what a season it was for Jackson Milton senior Sean Langle. Check out the effort here against Lowville. Looks to be bottled up with six rockets surrounding him, but he busts through, and he is gone. 60 yards for the score, an unbelievable play. Langle set the school record with over 3,000 career rushing yards this season. Thanks to plays like this, for the Blue Jays. Number seven comes in week seven from Hubbard. The Eagles hosting Alliance in the playoffs and TC Caffey was a man on a mission. Looks like he's down here on this play, but a couple guys miss and then watch the end of the play. The big man Caffey shoving the defender to the ground. How do you do Mr. Caffey? Not to be denied on this play as he helped the Eagles soar to a playoff win. At number six, we can't forget about the defense, right? Hickory and Sharon going at it in this game. The Hornets on the attack. Michael Henwood to Ra Ra Whitehead. Looks like he's gone for the touchdown, but check out the effort from Sharon's Joan Phillips. Punches it out right at the goal line for the touchback. Take another look, a great view here as Phillips waits and picks his moment, saving a touchdown and giving the Tigers the ball back. Still, Hickory would prevail in this one, 41-28. Number five brings us back to Youngstown, a big showdown between Fitch and Ursuline in week two. Falcons running back Tyree Mitchell with an unbelievable run here. Seemed to be down at the line, but bounces off, keeps the feet moving, heads down the sideline, stiff arm, then makes a couple more guys miss. In the end, a 53-yard touchdown for Mitchell. Shows off his complete arsenal on that play. Mitchell just a junior. He'll be back next year for the Falcons. A two-for-one at number four with two great tipped ball catches. First in Sharpsville, Trojans driving on fourth down against the Blue Devils. Jalen Ritzer to Rufus Byler. It's tipped around and somehow Byler keeps his concentration and makes a great heads-up play for the Trojans. Then at Warren JFK in their regional championship against Lucas, Cam Hollibaugh's pass tipped twice right into the hands of Gabe Green. Picks up some big yardage after the catch as well. A sweet play for Kennedy, who went on to become the state runners-up in Division 7. Another double dip at number three with two great concentration grabs in week two. We start in Girard, just seconds left before the half against South Range. Quarterback Andrew Del Garbino fires deep. It's tipped by the South Range defender, but Jordan Grant goes down to make a shoestring grab. Incredible instincts by Grant to keep his eye on the ball for the touchdown. A great score for the Indians. Then up in Warren that same night against Cardinal Mooney, the Raiders on the attack with Elijah Taylor going deep to Dom Foster who tips it to himself falling down somehow hauls it in for a 44 yard gain take another look a fantastic grab great hand-eye coordination from Foster to pick up the big play for the Raiders one last two for one at number two Austin Town fishes Todd Simons, a great basketball player known for his great hands, and he showed him off this year. None bigger than this play here. Devin Sherwood lobs it up here to Simons. A spectacular one-handed grab here against Cleveland Benedictine. That would lead to a touchdown, and the Falcons picking up that big win over the Bengals. Then later in Week 8, a high-scoring playoff matchup between Lowville and Warren JFK. Rockets quarterback Vinny Ballone fires deep to Kolbanovsky, goes up and gets it with the one hand. Unbelievable concentration and a great body control for Banovsky, who hauls it in. And check out the reaction, maybe the best part, the sticky hands. He can't get that ball off his gloves. 
great instincts, and a great grab from Bonofsky. Which brings us to our top play of 2020. We started in New Middletown and we'll end it there. The Tigers season on the ropes in the regional championship against Norwayne, down three with 10 seconds left. More trickery here with the triple handoff. Bo Brungard finds Lucas Yama for the go-ahead score with five seconds left. What a gutsy play call. Coach Guerrero said the play is called Boilermaker, and it came through in crunch time as the Tigers rallied for a 52-48 win, ultimately advancing to the D6 state title game for a second straight year. And that does it, our top 10 high school football plays from 2020.